Guess what we're doing today? We are making a new dog treat recipe. Of course, you guys can probably already tell by the title of this video. We are making a dog version of Puppy Chow slash Muddy Buddies slash whatever it is you guys like to call it. We are going to make a version of this for the dogs. Super easy, super fun. Oh my goodness. If you guys are new here, this is Shelby. This is Memphis. My name is Jess. We love making dog treats. We love making videos with our huskies. And today we're <coughs> going to make some treats. <laughs> if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that bell to turn on all notifications so you can know whenever we put up fun new treat videos. There will also be some links down below and up in the cards above to all of our other treat videos. Enough blabbing. Let's get to it. So step one of this recipe, we are actually going to make our simulated powdered sugar. We're not using powdered sugar because the dogs don't need more sugar than necessary. So we are actually going to take some unsweetened flaked coconut and we are going to pulverize it in my little KitchenAid chopper here and turn it into basically a fine dust. So it's kind of going to look like powdered sugar, although it's not powdered sugar. Also, you guys, I will put some Amazon affiliate links down below to some of the things you are seeing me use in this video. Yes. This is the Nerdy Nummies Melter. Those of you guys that watch Row, I noticed a lot of you said that last time we used it in a video. Super awesome. Tweet at her. Let her know we're using it. Maybe she'll collab with us and make some dog treats with us. That would be amazing. <laughs> anyway, let's make some powdered coconut flakes. Okay, so we are going to take one cup of the coconut flakes, put them into the chopper thing, food pro mini food processor. <gasps> there's a dog hair in there. There's gonna be a dog hair in your treats. Is that okay with you? I mean, I know there's dog hair in everything we do. Anyway, I'm gonna put the lid on this and turn it into a powder. So there is what our powdered coconut is gonna look like. You can also add a little bit of unrefined coconut flour as well, just to give it a little bit more of that powdered sugar-esque look. What, you want this? She's like, I would eat that whole bowl. Not yet, not yet. On to the next step. Next, we need one cup of carob chips. Not These are not chocolate. This is not chocolate. This is carob. Carob, not chocolate. Got that? We all got that? I know the comments are going to go crazy. Don't give your dogs chocolate. It's not chocolate. It's carob. Carob. So we need one cup of unsweetened carob chips. And we're going to go ahead and put that in our little melter here. You wanna, you wanna try one of these? I know you like these all by themselves. You like to try one? How about you, Shelby? So I was like, I don't like them all by themselves. They got, here, you want one? Would you like one? No. How about, Shelby, would you like a piece of cereal? Would you like some rice checks, Shelby? You don't even want no rice checks? <sighs> She's like, nope, not till we get out the dip, guys. Not till we get out the dip. Now, along with these carob chips, we are also going to add about two tablespoons of coconut cooking oil, which I'm actually going to pour in here, because then I can put my peanut butter in here and it'll come out a little easier. Pour that right in here. Now, we need a half a cup of peanut butter. And this is the part I'm sure Shelby will like. You like everything, but we got to get the stuff Shelby likes. All right, so now we have the carob chips, the peanut butter, and the coconut oil in the little warmer, and we are going to warm all that stuff together. While that is getting prepared, I have measured out six cups of rice checks. And yes, I'm using rice checks. Again, these are a treat. These are not something that's meant to be a meal replacement for your dogs. It's not something they need to eat all of the time. I have two dogs. This stuff will keep for a good two weeks out on the counter, but it'll keep for probably over a month in the refrigerator. So I'm making a lot of it because again, I have two dogs. They do eat a lot of treats. And these are a nice little size treat. No, this one's for Shelby because Shelby hasn't gotten anything yet. Would you like some rice checks with dip? Rice checks with dip. Oh man, peanut butter dip on cereal. Is it good? <laughs> She's like, hold on, I gotta set it down and look at it and decide if it's good. Well, we know she likes the peanut butter part of it. So anyway, as I said, I measured out six cups of this. As always, you guys, with these recipes, if you want to make less or more, you can always cut the recipes in half, double them. For this, it'll pretty much turn out the same if you just cut it straight in half or cut it in a quarter, however you want to do it in case you do want to make less. Another thing I do want to mention is, realistically, if you want to eat this, you can. It's 
not going to be very sweet because there's not sugar in it, but all of the ingredients we are using in today's treat video, they're all human grade people ingredients. So if you want to eat the dog version of puppy chow, by all means, go right ahead. <laughs> all right, let's get to melting some stuff. Side note, I am choosing to melt this in my little candy melter. Uh, you can also put this in a bowl and melt it in the microwave. Just do it at like a minute intervals at a time and stir it in between. You can also use a double boiler. You can also melt it over the stove. Whatever's easiest for you. I just am in love with this little thing that the dogs got me for Christmas. So I'm using that. All right, we have our carob, peanut butter, and coconut oil melted together very nicely. Now the next thing we're gonna do is slowly pour this on top of this and then we are going to take our Christmas spatula because why not and we're gonna fold it together gently because we don't want to break all of the cereals. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Right, slowly pour and kind of move it around and slowly fold. We got this. So like I said, just kind of gently. You can also use a big spoon for this, but a spatula seems to work good because you can scrape the stuff off the side. Are you waiting ever so patiently? She's like, just drop a piece. Just drop one piece and I will eat it. Shelby has also decided to return and uh, see what's going on in here. I'm t I know it smells good. I was trying, here, look. Look, I'll give you a sticky piece. Please don't take it on the carpet though. You want a sticky piece? Oh, a sticky piece is good. Oh man, that piece is good. How about you? You want a sticky piece? Oh man. Good stuff. Shelby's like, oh, this is what we're doing? Oh, I'm totally game for this. This let's do I know I got some on my fingers. <laughs> Alright, I gotta keep stirring before before it gets solid. We gotta stir it some more and then we gotta put the stuff on it. So if you end up with what tends to seem like there's a lot of like the mix on the bottom, you can always add a little bit more of the cereal. I think mine's at a pretty good mix right now. Now I'm going to just let this sit for about 10 minutes. Kind of firm up a little bit. You don't want it to firm up too much because one, you want to be able to shake it in a bag and put the topping on it. But you also don't want to put it in the bag just like that because it's just going to make a giant mess. So we're going to let it sit for a few minutes. So once you have let the mixture sit for a little bit, you can also chill it for a little bit if you want to. The next thing we're going to do, there's two different ways you can go about this. You can either take and put your coconut dusty stuff right in the bowl and kind of stir it, or you can use a little Ziploc bag and shake it around in there. I have just over a cup of this ready to go. Hopefully it'll be enough. If not, I'm just going to use, as I said before, a little bit of coconut flour and add that as well. What do you think? They're like, we just, we're ready for treats. We're tired of waiting, we're ready for treats. All right, we have all of it in a bag. We're gonna go ahead and pour all this right in here and just start shaking. <gasps> we did it. We made puppy chow for dogs. Check it out. It's all nice and coated. What do you think? This is the real test. Will Shelby eat it? Here you go, Shelby. Coconut and peanut butter and carob? What do you think? What do you think? I know you'll eat it. You want another one? Want one more? Oh, Shelby likes it. We know it's a win. Well, there you have it, you guys. Puppy chow slash muddy buddies slash whatever the heck you want to call it. Four dogs, I believe, was a success. Now, as you can see, I've put it in an airtight container. That way I can keep it in the refrigerator so it will stay longer. These actually would make pretty good training treats as well because they're small. So it's not a really... <laughs> you do like it, don't you? It's not a really big treat. It's a nice little small treat. That's pretty cool. I'm glad this turned out. Now I need to make puppy chow for people because now I want puppy chow. <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have suggestions for other treats you would like to see us make, leave them down in the comments below. And as I said before, up in the cards above, down in the video description below, there will be links to all of our other treat videos, which we have a lot of them. Like a lot of them. One more? You want one more? One more? It's like, heck yeah, I want one more. You want one more? One more? Oh, delicious. Delicious. It smells good. It smells really coconutty. Good stuff? All right, you guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again 
soon. It's a win? Shelby, is it a win? I see you licking your chops. She's like, I would eat a whole bowl of that. Yeah, I bet you would. I bet you would. <laughs> Go by, guys. Lots of fun, lots of wants, won't you come into our Siberia?